USS Constitution is the oldest commissioned warship afloat in the world. So we're still an active duty ship crewed by uh, 70 active duty sailors, including myself. We're currently moored here in the Charlestown Navy Yard in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, our mission today is to preserve, promote, and protect the uh, Constitution's legacy and to share that with the American public of, of why we had a Navy back in, in the 17, late 1700s, early 1800s, and why the Navy is important today. The ship uh, turns 214 years old this October. Uh, she was authorized under the uh, Naval Armament Act of 1794 and was uh, commissioned in October 1797 as one of the original six frigates of the U.S. Navy. Uh, her mission back in those days was to help uh, defend American commerce and trade around the world, primarily against the Barbary Corsairs in our quasi war with France, and then her biggest claim to fame is the War of 1812 against Great Britain. I wanted to come to USS Constitution because I am from Massachusetts and because USS Constitution is such a symbol of the United States and of our Navy as well. Constitution is an icon and uh, she's a legacy. Uh, being a native New Englander, I grew up coming on field trips on the ship. Uh, so I always had an interest in Constitution. Uh, when I had a chance to serve on board, I jumped at it. We have a, a fairly full day. As I say, we have uh, my sailors are 21st century sailors do all the same stuff a regular 21st century sailor would do on an aircraft carrier or a destroyer. Uh, but they do all that, plus they learn all the 18th century naval history and heritage and traditions. Uh, so our day starts with uh, usually quarters where they get together and talk about what's coming up in the day in the next couple of days. Uh, we do morning colors every morning at 8 o'clock where you hear the cannon fire. But during the day, um, most of the sailors are doing their regular day-to-day uh, -day administrative work or paperwork, uh, working on qualifications, and then the duty section is taking care of uh, the day, day the operation of the ship and giving uh, tours to uh, the public. It's a wonderful experience working with the crew here. Uh, I, in my personal opinion, we have the most professional and impressive crew in the United States Navy. Um, we are hand selected and to work with these you know, shipmates has probably been the best three years of my life. When you come on board Constitution, you're seeing how it was during the War of 1812, uh, the actual places that the sailors walked. I mean, they might not be the, the very same planks, but these are the very same decks that those uh, historic sailors walked. As a history major in college, I always learned that you know those who don't know history are condemned to repeat it, and I think it's an important piece of uh, understanding why we have a navy. And the missions, you know, have changed a little bit over the last 200 years. Uh, but as I tell people, you know, it's uh, the 70, 80, 90 rule. 70 percent of the world's surface is covered by water. 80 percent of the population lives within 200 miles of the coast, and 90 percent of the world's trade goes via the the uh, seaways. So a navy is important to keep those sea lanes of communication and trade open. Uh, same things again we found the Navy back on in the 1700s. I've been in 18 years and uh, this, is, uh, this is a dream job. Uh, I, I said when I took command it was both uh, uh, extreme honor and also very humbling. Uh, as a student of, uh, of history and especially naval history when you look at the, the plaque of the former commanding officers and you see the early Navy heroes like Edward Preble and Isaac Hull to see your name on that same list, uh, it's very humbling. And, uh, but I'm, I'm blessed to be here and uh, I think I have the best job in the Navy.